hello guys this is Vivek welcome to the third tutorial of Linux so now we have Linux installed on our virtual box or on our local machine we need to if it's a local machine or it's a virtual box we do have access to that but in real world scenario we might not have access to or physical access to that machine that machine might be located in the remote location and you need to connect it remotely so to connect those machines we typically use SSH client on Windows that is one client I typically use is uh, putty so it's a very simple tool where you just need to enter the IP address of the machine and then connect to it so this is my machine and uh, when you're first time trying to connect to it you need to have an IP address of this machine so you will type if config and you get the IP address 192.168.163.133 I ran the command if config ifconfig now I'll try to connect to this machine using the putty but it will throw me an error saying yep network error connection refuse so this typically happens when you did that can be a fury there might be two reasons behind this one is that SSH server is not running if it's installed on the server and second the server itself is not installed on this machine so first we'll try to install this server by running a command sudo apt hyphen get install ssh so this will try to install the server on this machine then once it's installed I actually installed the server previously so it did, did take very less time but first time it might take few minutes for you it might ask for the permission as well that this much of space might being used or will be used after the installation just click yes then you need to start the services so whenever you install any any package or any software it, it won't be started on its own so you run this command sudo service SSH start <coughs> now the service is started I'll try to connect to this machine say username is student and the password is password cool now we have logged into this machine next tutorial we'll see what all what are all different directories available on the machine will explore the system all right so stay tuned thanks for watching